I am listening very carefully to young people's YouTube channels and Twitch channels. I listen to a lot of gamer channels. I listen to a lot of Marvel Comics channels and so on. And what I've seen across the board, without exception, is a, a movement that is not only getting stronger, but getting stronger faster. And that is an absolute disgust and hatred of progressive politics, not because of the politics. What they're disgusted and angry about is their entire lives, they've had, the young men especially, have only had one place to retreat from the harping of the social justice warriors and the everybody gets a trophy uh, brigade that they were raised under. They don't have the social strength to say, no, I disagree with all of you, like anybody else, especially teenagers back in the day. They tend to just kind of nod their head and go along. But what, what has happened to this generation is very important. What those people do, specifically those young men do, is they go to class and they hear about what awful people they are for being male, what awful people they are for being white, and so on, and they nod their heads and they bow and they scrape, and then the second that class is over, they run into computer games. And I'm here to tell you, there are only two things that happen in every single computer game out there, essentially. You make money and you buy weapons. And what I've discovered is, is that this generation has checked out of the real world and checked into the virtual world because in computer games you get to act like a conservative. You get to blow things up, you get to shoot things, you get to drive fast, you get hot babes, you get all of it. The left understands this and they have pursued this generation into Star Wars, into the Marvel Comics uh, universe, into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. They've pursued them into everything that they cared about because it reminded them of the days of their early youth before this stuff got really to critical mass. So everything that they love is being destroyed by the left. And I have watched this generation in the space of two or three years go from a left-leaning group of people who are not terribly politically interested in anything, as I wasn't at that age, to ever-expanding numbers of people who are speaking like William F. Buckley or rock rib conservatives only because they're rebelling against what the left has done to their escape hatch. And this is an enormously, enormously potent weapon. And if we don't use it, then we have no excuse for, for what happens.